The complement system is activated by three major pathways, the classic pathway, antibody-dependent, and the lectin and the alternative pathways, activated by surfaces. The classic pathway of the complement starts with the binding of C1Q to the antibody-antigen complex of IgM pentamer or IgG hexamer in the FC region. This activates C1R which cleaves C1S, C1S acts like a protease and cleaves C4 and C2. C4B fragment binds the amino or hydroxyl group on the surface of the membranes by the thioester bond, exposed after cleavage. If there is no binding site in the proximity, the thioester bond is hydrolyzed, and the convertase is not created. C4B binds C2, which also is cleaved by the C1S fragment, and generates the classic pathway C3 convertase, C4BC2A. By cleaving C3 and bounding C3B fragment, it generates C5 convertase, C4BC2AC3B. In the same manner, in the lectin pathway, the membrane binding lectin attaches to the polysaccharides on the membranes and binds the mannose binding protein associated serine proteases, especially MSP2, activating them. They act like C1S, cleaving C4 and C2, generating the C3 convertase. In the alternative pathway, the hydrolysis of the internal thioester bond makes a conformational change on C3, which exposes the binding site for B factor. The B factor bounded by C3, H2O, is cleaved by D factor, generating the fluid phase convertase, C3, H2O, BB, which cleaves C3 in C3B and C3A, which is an anaphylatoxin. The C3 convertase of the alternative pathway of the complement is generated by the linking of C3B fragment and the BB fragment of B factor, cleaved by D factor, which is then stabilized by the linking of properdin. When C3 convertase attach a C3B fragment, the C5 convertase is formed and cleaves C5 in C5A, which is also anaphylatoxin, and C5B, C5B is stabilized by the binding of the C6 and the binding of C7 exposes a hydrophobic site which allows the attachment to the membrane. The complex C5BC6C7 attached to the membrane binds C8 which polymerizes C9, forming the membrane attack complex, and the target cell will be lysed by osmosis. The complement system is regulated by soluble factors like C4B binding protein which impedes the C3 convertase formation and guides its cleavage by another soluble factor, I factor, and membrane factors like membrane cofactor protein, which acts like C4 binding protein, and decay accelerating factor which cleaves the convertases once formed, liberating the C2A fragment, permitting the action of the preceding factors to degrade the convertases. The classic and the lectin pathways are also regulated by C1 inhibitor, which dislocates the C1R and C1S fragments from C1Q fragment, respectively MASP2 from membrane binding lectin, inactivating them. The regulation of the alternative pathway will be exposed below. The alternative pathway is composed of the fluid phase and the amplification loop. The first forms of fluid phase C3 convertase, C3, H2O, BB, which, as I have mentioned above, by hydrolysis of the internal thioester bond of C3, exposes the site for binding for B factor, which is then cleaved and activated by factor D. It is an active convertase, but cannot bind to the surfaces, because the thioester bond is hydrolyzed. C3 is then converted into C3B and C3A fragment that acts like anaphylatoxin, assuring chemotaxis for phagocytic cells. C3B binds B factor, which is cleaved by D factor, forming the C3BBB, the alternative pathway convertase. C3B exposes the thioester bond, which is active for about 60 milliseconds. If it doesn't find a surface to bind, it is inactivated by hydrolysis. This is the tick over phase of the alternative pathway. If C3B finds a proper surface, rich in amino or hydroxyl groups, 
the amplification loop starts, whatever the pathway of activation was started. H factor and I factor act like regulators, first by blocking the formation of new convertices or guiding the dissociation by the second one. When C3B finds an appropriate surface, rich in carbohydrates, it is binding BB fragment and then stabilized by the linking of properdin, which is predominantly secreted by polymorphonucleated leukocytes. The binding sites of proper DIN and I factor are very close, so they cannot bind simultaneously, directing the regulation through positive, respectively negative feedback. In that way, the complement system discriminates between self and non self. On surfaces rich in polyanions, like self surfaces made of sialic acid, decay accelerating factor cleaves the convertices once formed, liberating the BB fragment. H factor and membrane cofactor protein block the binding of B factor and favor the action of I factor, which cleaves C3B in IC3B and C3F, which are degraded by serum proteases in C3DG and C3C, C3B, C4B, IC3B are opsonins for phagocyting cells, C3DG bounded to the antigen serves to activation through complement receptor 2, known also as CD21 of B cells which bind the antigen and also for caption by follicular dendritic cells to present the antigen to B cells in the germinal centers of lymphoid. Organs C3A and C5A, the anaphylatoxins, are degraded by plasma carboxypeptidases. The formation of membrane attack complex is inhibited by vitronectin or S-protein, a soluble mediator, which impedes the binding of C5BC6C7 to the membrane and by CD59 which blocks the binding of C9 to the C5B678 complex attached to the membrane, dislocating it. The C3BBB complex with the properdin generates the amplification loop of the alternative pathway, continuing cleaving the C3 factor and favoring the binding on the surface. Properdin forms monomers, dimers, trimers, and tetramers which stabilize the convertase on the surface, making it inaccessible for I-factor, membrane cofactor protein and decay accelerating factor action, maintaining the amplification phase of the alternative pathway.